Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are in the workshop today working on a couple trucks here. We are putting this, uh, this is one of our ECX Ruckuses um, or Torment. It's got the Torment front bumper on this one here. Uh, we're going to put this one on ice for a little bit just because we already have a running Ruckus. If you guys want to catch videos of this, you can find those in our playlists. Uh, our ECX Ruckish, Ruckus Brushless. Try saying that 10 times fast. Uh, we've already got this guy running. Well, actually kind of running. We need to fix a broken drive shaft on there. But we're going to go ahead and put uh, our ultimate Ruckus, so to speak. This was the, the kind of the crazier build that we were planning. Uh, we're putting that on ice for the, the uh, moment just because... Uh, we've run into a lot of problems with the drive shafts. You know, they're they're um, they're okay. Uh, the plastic drive shafts actually not they're not even okay. The stock ones are notorious for breaking under power. Um, this brushless uh, ruckus we were gonna really build to go all out, uh, but we've got to figure out a better solution for the drive shafts. Um, the MIP, uh, the MIP X drive. Ones that we had were, were too long. Um, they, it looks like we need to get the ones for the Stampede 4x4. I think we had the ones for the Slash uh, two-wheel drive. So um, there, there are some differences there. We thought those, those drive shafts uh, were interchangeable. They are not between the Slash and the Stampede. Um, and I should say the, uh, the, uh, the Ruckus as well. Uh, you, you need to get the right ones there, the ones for the Stampede 4x4. So, in the meantime, um, we're going to get that other ruckus fixed, but we're going to go ahead and pillage this truck for its servo. Uh, for this truck back here, the ProLine ProMT 4x4. So, this will be a short tutorial on how to remove a servo in a ruckus. Now, this is just the main chassis and the, and the front um, remnants of a ruckus here, but... It will be the same if you have a ruckus two-wheel drive uh, or a torment two-wheel drive and brush brushless it's all the same so what you've got to do here is just take out um, these four screws right and since we're going to be putting this project on ice for a little bit what i'm going to do is a smart thing to do is to put the screws back where you found them. <laughs> you don't have to screw them all the way back in, but um, just to save yourself some time and effort, that is a smart thing to do. So the, the bottom here pops right out. You can see our little zip tie mod here on the bell crank of the servo saver. You definitely want to do that because the stock, um, the stock setup is a little bit mushy, just very imprecise, got a lot of play in it. Um, so, uh, we, the label on this fell off, but this is actually a Savox. Um, I think it's, uh, oh, it's got it on the case here. It is a SW, and I'll show you guys when I pull this out, SW0231MG. Now, the specs on this aren't crazy, but, um, we are, uh, you know, we're on a tight budget around here doing what we do, so... We are all for using what we've got on hand. It also helps us get that this truck back on the road faster. So just going to pop out this bell crank, and then we're going to go ahead and remove these screws in the back. So there are just two holding the servo down, one on each side, diagonally away from each other. Um, you could put in four, but not super necessary, and that's the way it comes from the factory. So... Got these screws out and the servo comes out. Now this servo was a little bit too tall um, for the stock ECX uh, radio case. And I'm just gonna get a normal screwdriver to put these back in. Don't need to use the power driver here. Don't wanna strip anything. So, I need, I'm gonna look for a longer handled screwdriver. And I don't have any. Oh, I do. All right. 
So again, just a good practice to put those screws back where you found them when you're going to leave a vehicle partially disassembled. Uh, we've got a lot of trucks in the warehouse. So if any of you guys are uh, interested in helping us out and the shipping costs are not prohibitive, um, if you guys like wrenching or whatnot, guys and gals, if you like wrenching on RCs uh, or want to learn, let us know in the comments. Because we've got way too many projects around here and not enough time. Time is always a limited resource here. So I'm just going to put these screws back in. But um, the, yeah, so we're not going all out for the. Um, on the electronics in this Pro MT, not yet at least. We're gonna take a pretty conservative approach, and um, you know we're, we'll we'll up the ante as we see fit. You know we've we've got um, or we can always order a, a you know more powerful servo, throw that in here. But we're gonna just kind of do a baseline budget build for um, for those of you that that are looking to get you know, get started with the Pro MT, um, or if you're just, um, you know, don't want to pour as much money into it. The, the, the beauty, uh, the beauty, the beautiful thing about the Pro MT is that you can, you can go all crazy. Um, it will accept eighth scale electronics. So, um, as well as 10th scale. So it's really up to you. And, um, you know, you could always go a little bit crazier later on, but just with this uh, short of a wheelbase on the uh, the truck and whatnot, we're, we're not going to feed too much power into it. So stay tuned uh, for the next episode when we get a little bit further along here. We've got our servo, and um, stay tuned uh, for the, the unveiling of the other electronics. Um, so let us know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time.